News National Zimbabwe's central bank has registered an overwhelming uptake of the Mosi Oatunya gold coin after local financial institutions, pension funds, insurance companies and individuals bought the bulk of the 2000 coins amid concern that the new asset class could create arbitrage opportunities. With inflation soaring and the country's currency in a free fall, the monetary authorities are now fighting back with a novel strategy. The initial gold coins were sold at US$1.823.80 each on Monday or ZW805.745.35 using the willing buyer willing seller rate as at Friday. The coins can also be bought using other foreign currencies such as the Rand and Australian dollar. Gold is Zimbabwe's single largest foreign exchange earner and production of the yellow metal has been on an upward trend in recent years, driven by strong output from artisanal miners. Market watchers say, while gold coins may create a new inflation hedging investment option for asset management firms, the new investment may become a haven for rent-seeking behavior and arbitrage. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, however said it will closely monitor the supply of the coins, adding that agents, mainly banks, will use the know-your-customer, kick, principle in selling them. Most of our agents are banks so we have distributed through the head offices of banks. The banks are the ones that shall now proceed to disburse those gold coins to their branches," Mangudyu said. Furthermore will also not allow the liquidation of blocked funds for the purposes of buying gold coins since the government has already put in place a framework for dealing with blocked funds under the Finance Act whereby the government has made a determination of how it will liquidate blocked funds. The bank shall also be releasing the gold coins going forward on a demand basis. Zimbabwe's former Deputy Prime Minister Arthur Mutambara says the newly introduced gold coin is a self-enrichment scheme for the elites. Mutambara notes, you exchange your US dollar on the parallel market for 950, buy gold coins in ZW dollar at 441 and pocket 100% profit. That is the gold coin arbitrage opportunity. Is this not common sense? It gets worse. For the elites who are connected and have access, you don't have to involve your hard-earned US dollar in the first part of the transaction. You take your ZW dollar to the RBZ and buy the US dollar at the auction rate. You take these ill-gotten US dollar to the parallel market and buy ZW dollar at 950. That's a huge profit. Then you go and buy your gold coins at 100% profit as explained before. No production. It is shameful. Morgan & Company, a brokerage firm, in its research note on the impact of the gold coins on the economy, noted that the policy measure could result in unintended consequences. We also expect holders of Nostro balances to liquidate their balances in a manifestation of the bird in hand phenomenon. Given the volatile policies in the country, we assert that there is more confidence in gold's ability to store value than Nostro accounts. We also opine that, despite efforts to uniquely identify the coins and establish due diligence protocols, there will be arbitrage profiteering opportunities using the gold coin. Zimbler holders could purchase the coin for hard currency and then sell the currency on the parallel market in the worst-case scenario, Morgan & Company says. The ability to sell the coin in the international market potentially opens the country to a withdrawal of foreign currency in the formal market and, even more so, withdrawal of Zimbler liquidity in the country. While this could theoretically put downward pressure on the parallel market rate, we maintain that there remain other factors nullifying the intended effect. Source Thenishik's Moron, Number Gold, Number Coins, Number Zimbabwe Com.